It might feel like we're repeating ourselves, but there's no denying that One UI 7.0 is shaping up to be a huge update for Galaxy devices. So much so that for the first time since One UI was introduced in 2018, Samsung won't be releasing the latest version in the same year as the Android version it's built on. Although public beta testing for One UI 7.0 is expected to roll out later this year, Samsung already confirmed at its developer conference that the stable release of One UI 7.0 will launch alongside the Galaxy S25 series. Since that announcement, development on the new software has been progressing rapidly. As we mentioned earlier this week, Samsung is moving so quickly that several elements in our One UI 7.0 hands-on video from the developer conference are already outdated. We've learned that the icons for Samsung stock apps have undergone recent changes, and now we have visual confirmation thanks to a brief video showing an updated version of the gallery app icon that comes pre-installed on Galaxy devices. Nearly all stock apps are expected to have refreshed icons, though some of the initial designs received mixed reactions from fans. For example, the original One UI 7.0 gallery app icon was considered a bit too colorful. However, Samsung seems to have toned it down, and the new icon looks much improved. Whether this is the final version remains to be seen, but if it is, we believe most users will either love it or, at the very least, not find it objectionable. The Samsung Galaxy S25 series might be powered globally by the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Qualcomm has just introduced its most advanced mobile chipset. There's no indication that Exynos or Dimensity will be used for Samsung's upcoming flagship models. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite is the company's first mobile chip produced with TSMC's 3NM process. It features a second-generation Orion CPU, improved GPU, and an upgraded NPU, delivering outstanding performance for the upcoming Android flagships. Samsung is struggling with mass production of the Exynos 2500, reportedly facing lower-than-expected yields from its 3NM process. As a result, commercializing the Exynos 2500 this year isn't feasible. Due to these yield issues, there were rumors that the Galaxy S25 might feature a MediaTek Dimensity 9400 processor. However, that doesn't seem to be happening soon, although there are speculated plans for the Galaxy S25 FE. Tipster Ice Universe recently revealed that the Galaxy S25 series will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite, also dismissing the chances of the Exynos 2500 or Dimensity 9400 being used in Samsung's next flagship lineup. This marks a significant shift in the chipset strategy for the Galaxy S25. The inability to mass-produce the Exynos 2500 points to a challenging situation for Samsung Elec. While Galaxy fans are pleased with this change, it's not exactly positive news for the smartphone maker. As expected, the US received Snapdragon models, while most other regions got the Exynos 2400-powered Galaxy S24 and S24+. Plus. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, however, features the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 across all markets. Similarly, rumors indicated that the S25 Ultra would ship with the Snapdragon 8 Elite in all regions. Recent reports suggest that this processor will indeed be used for all variants globally. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.